Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Learning. In this episode, I want to talk about this new feature of Blender 4.0 Beta. Uh, the other day, Jax Luke posted uh, this video trying to demonstrate uh, this feature. So basically, uh, with geometry nodes, um, normally we apply uh, it, apply it using modifier, so it's acting like a modifier, but in this case, it should function like a tool, like when you are in edit mode or in sculpt mode, you can actually just apply this. Um, I, I'm kind of curious, so I just want to give it a try. Um, still kind of new for me. And so let's just do exactly what Jack's doing. So let's say you have this uh, default cube and you want to do an extrude. But before we do anything, so instead of having this as a modifier, we want to switch into geometry nodes type tool. So now it should behave like a tool. Uh, it might, uh, doesn't look like it's a tool yet, but let's just create something, you know. And like, <coughs> like Jax was doing, uh, let's shift A and then type in selection. So apparently we can select, we can read selections on the fly. So like if we go to edit mode and select selecting some faces, let me go to face selections. I will select those two face and I will shift A, extrude mesh and plug this in. We we don't seem to have any effects at the moment, so I think I'll go to edit mode actually. And then shift A actually. How do we do this? Oh, okay. This is the functions. It's called tool. At the moment it says tool. Let's type, let's rename this as extrude face. So here, we can actually apply the function. So it's extruding it at 0 0.8. So at the moment, it's uh, still kind of strange, right? Still, uh, maybe, maybe we can shift A, scale elements, and scale the top part of the selections. Uh, of the of the extruded part you know so let's select let's do that and then do this extrusion once again this time we want to scale it we can't really see the the result in real time at the moment maybe in near future of if if we do something else um, we can actually right click and add this into a quick favorite so if we this is extrude face i already have something else before but i will select extrude face so now we can actually it's extruding and also scaling so let's select another face perform the same operations we can be very selective and kind of applying it on the go. Okay, so it's uh, starting to make sense now, right? Uh, these new features. We can also try to uh, do this like a uh, random. So it's always, this is my go to thing. I think random value, we can plug this into the extrusions. So if we select face now and extrude, it's actually extruding it at different um, extrusion value. So let's try with the grid, select a bunch of mesh, uh, face, and then do the extrusion. You can see each one have different extrusion value. So it's kind of, it's already working. So let's save this very quickly. 
extrude to so I tested just now like if you are in modifier mode you don't actually have selection but in a tool mode you have selections so I don't know what what else exactly we we have it here that's different when we are actually using modifier I have to check that um, what else can we do next maybe if we try on the torus something different what if we edit and select this instead of by selection box we can use selection circle so deselect everything and select select it like this I'm holding shift and Q extrude face you can see it's actually already kind of working so it's probably I mean it's not gonna be limited to just that but you can already see it's a you get this very interactive tool on the go so I haven't tested a lot of things but you perhaps you can actually uh, uh, I try to think what other features that you might use for example do we have shift a merge by distance we actually have that so we can we can try that whatever we select it we apply it's gonna merge that uh, so to let's create a new new geometry nodes as a tool and we want to shift a merge by distance I don't know if it's if this is gonna be interactive if we can if we pipe this out as distance I don't know what's gonna happen now if I let's rename this first merge distance we actually have this distance value so merge by distance so it's happening we actually have these attributes that we can control so it's a bit it's a bit crazy now that we are actually able to do this so let's do this right click assign uh, add to quick favorites merge by distance so we have this slider uh, what's the shortcut if I if I do this merge distance I need to go travel there what was the shortcut to go there W no there's a shortcut so this thing can go to where my cursor is so I for now just to do this it's gonna make kind of mess what else can we do actually to maybe we can create like a remesh uh, once again create a new tool should we just do a remesh okay shift a mesh to volume volume to mesh so we don't we want to convert this to volume and mesh um, maybe we pipe out the foxel amount and the adaptivity adaptivity and density maybe so this is gonna be volume yeah turn it into volume and back to mesh okay back to edit mode okay this one's gonna be slightly weird I don't think oh yeah it actually works like 
just like that density okay maybe less adaptivity okay uh, it's sort of working it's kind of weird that it's, it's actually working in a normally in the sculpt mode you already have this ability you know just to quickly remesh it from here it's kind of similar to that it's not uh, normally in edit mode so let's get back to edit mode back to oh we yeah, okay back to selection cursor or selection circle and Q um, extrude face extrude face oh yeah with the extrude face uh, we can randomize it right so let's get back to extrude face we can randomize the seed so we want to pipe this out into a group input and yeah I think the scale element also should go out and the um, the offset value also the minimum and the maximum maybe just leave it like that for now 0 0.1 and 0 0.7 so back to edit mode and then just do this volume okay let's try <laughs> start start from scratch cube uh, I want to be able to also subdivide I think subdivide could be interesting in this case I just use the volume me voxel value density and now to selections extrude face random extrude okay this you can randomize the seed the scale we can go complete completely the opposite instead of making like a spike we can go like that and volume me yeah it's sort of sort of working edit mode and sculpt mode is totally different so you you need to switch to sculpt mode in order to smooth this area edit mode is usually when you are doing extrusion you know like the traditional way scalp is more organic normally you can go push and pull as you already know but we switch to edit mode again continue with this extrusion uh, not uh, volume, uh, extrude phase get spike extrude phase extrude phase oh, that's gonna be too messy starting to get really interesting like this um, I wonder if this individual also have effects if we if we turn it into like like a toggle we go back to edit mode and then extrude face okay there's a toggle this is also interesting yeah still useful randomize the seed yep seems to work edit mode Q volume me Adaptivity. So it's it's so far what I I really like is the the interactivity. This <laughs> is actually kind of fun. So we can extrude, we can extrude face randomly. We can merge distance, volume. Merge distance doesn't. I mean it's too. Yeah, it's it's actually useful. You don't want to do this. Maybe you want to merge some areas. already kind of useful that way 
where it's distant sometimes you want it to be quad so you probably add a quad thing shift a quad quadlateral subdivide or there is one tool I forgot I forgot the name but it, you can turn it back into quad quadrify or something anyhow extrude face Face, face. You can quickly create this this type of thing. Very abstract looking. And well, maybe so it's extruding, and it's selecting the last extruded objects at some point maybe we should just select the top part turn back turn back the selections into just the top part so we can continue yeah we can if we keep going on this just gonna grow super organic Q volumetric adaptivity density extrude extrude so this is basically what it is uh, at the moment I I couldn't think of anything else we could do uh, on the fly there there are all sort of things including simulations that can be applied as a tool um, but I think this is should this should be good enough um, for now if we can do something more with selections selection material selection set selection read and write set selection might be actually useful with our extruded face if we can shift a set selection if we can set selection over here you know set selection back to the top after we scale set it back to the top there there you go see it's setting up the selections for the next one and scale out and scale out and at this point we can perhaps draw the selections selection select uh, selection loop select more command numpad plus okay select more and then we can do like extrude face adjust the scale randomize the seed okay so we end up with this mess but still kind of useful so yeah in just a few minutes I was testing this feature uh, thanks again Jax to look on all the blender developers if you want to give donations to to devil uh, for the developers and blender foundations you can you can send it uh, you can donate uh, but anyhow give it a try download blender experimental download the one uh, blender 4.0 beta I don't want to go alpha yet but Beta seems the next Blender 4.0 will have this feature to use to use uh, geometry nodes as a tool on the fly. So that's really really powerful. Um, give it a try yourself. Uh, see what you can come up with. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.